My name is Petey Guerrero and I am STEM Outreach Associate. The reason I became an engineer is because my mom is a mechanical engineer and uh, I always, she always brought work home that she did it at her work and uh, I always knew what it was and to me engineering was something that I was, I was always meant to be and do. One of the things I did when I was little is I would take all the electronic components at home like I remember I took the TV apart one day and I tried when my mom came back from work I tried to pretend that it wasn't me it just broke by itself. Being a scientist and an engineer it's kind of being very curious, you have to be curious, you have to have interest for um, exploring, doing new things, uh, trying to trying to change the world, trying to make a device or a, or a product better because you're not happy with it, what, what it was. That's why I took the TV apart because I wasn't happy because it wasn't working and I tried to make it better. Through my community college, I am, I'm a certified water robotics instructor and because of that past summer I was able to go to Puerto Rico and teach little kids in Puerto Rico um, water robotics and how what how to play with Legos and actually make something out of it and learn about stuff not just play. What water robotics is it's essentially Legos and you use those Legos and you build boats to which we later add motors and propellers and we make a meter float on the raft on the top of the water or be submarines and go underwater and the way these uh, boats are operated is through Lego Mindstormers. The different tests that you can do with water robotics, um, there's actually four of them. The first one is the kids just build a boat that floats on the top and it actually has to go to one end of the pool and come back to the begin to where it started. The second, the second challenge they have to use the same boat that they built in the first challenge, but it has to make the figure eight in the pool. So it has to follow the path up and down and come back. And we actually time all the challenges and it, we judge them and we have a winner at the end of every challenge. The third challenge is the submarine challenge. So they have to make a submarine and it's that boat, they have to learn about buoyancy. And what buoyancy is, is the making the boat float so they have to make the perfect buoyancy they have to actually put it in the middle the submarine cannot touch the bottom but it cannot show up on the top so it has to be right in the middle and the third challenge is this uh, the submarine has to go underwater and make the figure eight and for the fourth challenge they actually have to use four motors which is one more than the third challenge and they have to attach a little device that will grab a ball like a little claw or something that will grab a ball that is on the bottom of the pool they have to go down grab that ball go up on the top of the water and drop drop it in a basket the kids that participate in the water robotics classes some of them have no interest about engineering and being scientists some of them do and that's the reason they are there However, being part of this program, it gives them a better knowledge of what actually engineering and sciences do. One thing that happened to me when we left Puerto Rico, because at the end of, of every class that we do, they're a week or two long, we have PowerPoint presentations. So the kids not only do they learn the design process, they learn about buoyancy, they learn about building, uh, they also learn uh, presentation skills and how to make PowerPoints and how to present in front of big crowds. So uh, when they did the presentation at the end of the class, one girl said, I did not want to be an engineer. I had no idea that I want to be an engineer, but after this class, all I want to do is be an engineer. If you want to be an engineer and you're in middle school, elementary school, high school, keep getting involved into extracurricular activities. Go explore, learn new things. Now we have computers, we can read everything about whatever we want. There is a lot of after school classes that you can get involved, Saturday classes that you can do. Summer camps are very, very important. And you just use anything you can just so you can keep that dream going. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't be an engineer, that it's hard. It will be a little hard, but it will be very well worth it at the end. So what engineers have done to have houses on the bottom of the ocean 
they have there are some houses that were built from four inch thick glass and they had used carbon fiber doors so they can seal the pressure inside some of them are made out of there's discs attached on the top of those houses or rooms I should say and then whenever let's say if the house floats if it wasn't built good enough the top discs they're buoyant so they can actually float to the top of the ocean and they can repair them and then bring it back down in order to keep those houses on the bottom of the ocean they can use big rods big metal rods who, that can be vibra, vibrant hammered inside like inside the ground uh, different house I know there was built one of them it was like a part of a hotel and it was it weighed 172 tons and in order to keep it underwater like on the bottom they used 82 tons of sand and in order that they needed it to come on the top and fix it because they can't go underwater and fix it they actually have to bring it back up they just take the sand off and it comes right back up so in order to have those houses under water, to have them on the bottom of the ocean, we have to make sure they have the same pressure as it is on the surface. There also have to be lines that are connected going up to the surface for air, water, electricity. And I've heard some of them have underwater internet as well. Actually to make those houses that move, I'm not sure if it has actually been made yet. But if you're an engineer, the engineers usually say, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I am sure in the next couple of years, we might see something like that.